What's up folks, I'm excited for this one because I figured out a sweet little hack in Kittle that they don't even have in their tutorial library yet. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm going to show you how to make this design right here. And it's actually going to be a lot easier than you think. But first I wanted to address something that one of my viewers mentioned in a comment. They said that they were going to emulate a particular store because it had you know been around for a while and had a ton of sales. But I wanted to show you guys something again. It's kind of in line with that other shop I showed with 7,500 listings. I'll link to that one in the description too, but it's uh, basically in line with, you know, the general store versus the whole niche thing. And it's something that we talk about a lot. There's nothing wrong with having that general store. If you're going to, you know, at least limit it to three or four niches predominantly, because as soon as you go like five, six, seven, ten plus, you're talking about like wasting exponential amounts of time when you can see a lot of results with just like three, maybe would be my limit, but even then they would overlap, right? At least so like maybe teach and coffee something to that effect you know that could do well individually but also together right and the idea is to you know be able to have multiple items in your shop that people would potentially buy in the same vein or for the same gift recipient but anyway this is the shop that the person had said they wanted to emulate they do have 254,000 sales that you can see right here they also have 2300 items they've been around for 16 years now so I don't know if I can wholeheartedly say that it'd be a great idea to emulate this particular particular store, right? You have to make sure that they still got the sales velocity. So one thing I really like here is E-Rank's little Chrome extension. You just click on it and it's going to tell me in a quick snapshot what the shop has been doing over time. So you can see here if I hover June, uh, looks like they had good sales, like 1200 sales in November last year, then December 800. And then, you know, we're in July 308 of this year, 560 in August and September only 363 sales. Of course, October is not registered yet because we're only halfway through. Today they've only got one sale. Yesterday they only had seven. That is an insanely low amount of sales for the amount of work required to build a 2300 listing shop. Over the last seven days, they got 59 listings, which is a little over eight a day average over the last week. That is not awesome. And the other thing I wanted to show you is from right inside this Chrome window, it doesn't overtake the Etsy page at all, right? You can click on this right now and it's going to open in E-Rank in a separate tab so you're not kind of, you know, over top of anything. And I wanted to take you more so into the tools section here. So we know we got the calculators here, right? So you can plug everything in and figure out exactly how much profit you're making. You've got the category tool, which I thought was pretty sweet too, because you can just dump something in here like funny dog mom shirt. It's, it helps you identify the best performing categories for your listing. So I've got shirt in here already. So obviously it's going to populate the categories that it suggests with the actual word shirt in there. But the idea here is that I go a little bit deeper. So it's not just limiting myself to the t-shirts here. I'm looking at what else is popular for the potential category here. So something I may have thought of for sure is the sweatshirts, but something I may not have thought of would be clip art or image files. So like all these AI designs we're creating you can sell them on Etsy right you've had a hand in creating them it is okay Etsy has said to sell those designs so in Kittle for example you can create a set of AI designs so you can kind of give it a idea an aesthetic and then describe what you wanted to do I kind of touched on it in a previous video about the uh, glass tumblers the sipper cups but I wanted to show you that at least you'd be able to leverage the AI designs if you had a, uh, a digital download shop or something right which is obviously also going to be mostly profit at that point once you've listed everything right it's the closest thing you can probably get to passive income in terms of what you can do with Etsy right the other tool I really wanted to show you was this shortcut button so you can just come over here click this and simply drag it so you can drag it right up here I'll just put it beside my Amazon dashboard and now you've got this here so if we're in any particular listing and if you wanted to see anything about this you just click on this little shortcut and it'll populate everything you need to know about this particular listing whatever page you're on in Etsy it'll pull it up right inside of E-Rank. So super easy to do. You know, you're not really interrupting your flow. Chrome extension, again, will tell you certain particular things about the main page. If you wanted to go into a listing, you don't even have to close this window. It'll auto populate everything for that listing. So it's kind of doing this stuff on the fly for you. And you can see immediately, right? So it's sold 179 times. Estimated revenue is over $5,700. 
conversion rate is low super old as we said you know it's been around the block this shop here but at least you can have these metrics at a glance right so i just wanted to show you guys that shortcut button again and the chrome extension two pretty useful features not a lot of people are talking about really right it's just that kind of thing and then you also have this calendar this is like not to be missed here so the idea with the calendar here is it tells you exactly what's coming up you know in terms of like seasonal events and that sort of stuff right holidays that sort of stuff but what you want to make sure you're doing is staying you know 60 to 90 days out at least it'll show you for the month of october if we click here for example to see the top 100 it'll load the top 100 keywords for october based on the calendar events so pretty awesome you got all kinds of searches here for gift for father personalized gift obviously a big one and halloween of course has you know ramped up here with almost 240,000 searches in september alone yeah these have, are the highest searched keywords for the month of october so Pretty cool elements. They're all in the tools section here. And I do have a link down below that'll let you try the expert plan for free if you're a new user. And if you're in my membership, you were already grandfathered in to try the expert plan through there if you were already an E-Rank customer. Again, super useful. I do wanna show you how to make that awesome design I showed in the beginning. So we're gonna go right over to Kittle here. We're gonna go new project. As you guys know, I'm going to select the Merch by Amazon defaults here. So I go to Print on Demand, select Merch by Amazon t-shirt because it's nice and big. Again, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels at 300 DPI, which would also translate to 15 inches by 18 inches long. So typically, if you wanted to have a design show through the letters, right, you would have to choose one of the elements here. So we can go into Elements, and you were limited to the text masks, right? So for example, the regular mass here you can just drag and drop this and let's say we wanted to search for in images beach let's go to images search beach scene and you can pick one from here or you can have one created with their AI. I think we can use this one here, scroll for a little while. So if you wanted it to fit inside the box, for example, in their mask, you can just drag it and it'll clip it right in there and you can double click and move it around within the box frame here. So if we wanted to make it bigger, for example, but we wanted more of this end of it, and then you would just click off it and it would kind of constrain, right? That's the elements in the masks here. And then if you wanted your image back, you can just come here and release mask. And now it's got the image on its own and we can just delete this we don't need it but if you wanted to have the image show through you'd have to scroll down and for example we can pick a couple of letters here and you can scroll through or click on show all here and there was no other font choices and there hasn't been for a while they said they were going to update it but we don't even need to worry about this so you know it's got the two elements here the two options all you need to do is same idea with this stuff is just drag it over top right so i'll just pull that out if we needed to do two versions of it you would just hold option click and drag and now you've got one here hold and then we can drag this one in here and it would be in there right and then you know how it's kind of like it's showing a duplicate here so you would just double click this so that it would line up here and then you can move this over so that it makes sense for the image and now line that up and now you know it looks like an actual image one image behind right but what if we wanted to use something that looked way cooler right more like legit beach vibe type stuff so i'm going to release the mask here and we're going to do this all in one shot so we don't have to you know put the image behind each letter or drag it into the mask for each letter so all you got to do is come over here click on text so the first thing i'm going to do is hold command and scroll up to zoom in here you can see down here that it's you know zooming in and out at different percentages here it's a lot easier than clicking 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 and hoping you get the same one so you can just zoom right in or zoom out right instead of clicking and dragging this this way I'm going to hold option and drag the corners out so now it's done it evenly nice and easy to see that way we can work really quickly I'll put this up here for now let's pick a font now that looks good for a beach theme design I would probably go with a script fun maybe and these have all been tagged with the word fun so they're a little more beach vibey i think let's actually write the word we want so i want beach vibes in here again option and drag is way faster than copy pasting vibes a lot of period just because i think it looks cooler you can kind of do something like this actually you know what sunship right here this is kind of retro-y still cool still definitely you know nice big and bold 
I'm just gonna move these over and kind of position these where I think would look cool. You know, a negative four degrees. And the nice thing when you're tilting these is you can see that it's popping up on the screen a negative four angle. So you can't really screw up if you wanted to match this one. You can see it there, also negative four. So now we know they're exactly in the same line, right? And the reason I'm tilting these is because script fonts are intended to mimic handwriting, you know, cursive writing. and Usually if you're kind of doing it on a whiteboard or on your airbrushing or writing graffiti or anything like that, you know, it's got this more organic vibe and feel to it, right? So that's why I always angle them a little bit up. I just think it adds a new dimension and it looks a little cooler to me. So I think we can go with this here. Again, I, instead of just dragging one, you move the whole thing over. I'd rather hold option and then that way you can pull both arms in that way. So I just want to make sure now we got to put this behind so we got our image i'm just going to drag it right in behind based on my layers here i'm just going to kind of zoom out a little because i want this to be nice and big here i would do that and then i can just drag this to kind of fill the space a bit this a little bigger so it's more of the sand and the sea here the idea is like we're going to have all of this show through the lettering here right so that's kind of where i want it so i'm just going to move this over now i have this as the you know the right size that i want to fit inside of that those letters so all you have to do now is make sure that these letters are a color that is not in this design. So sometimes black can work. I've had good results with it, but I usually traditionally, you know, magenta is a color that was used in print, but I think red has been for me pretty easy to work with. And it's really easy to just drag it all the way to the end and drag this up to the corner here. And then all you have to do right now, the next step, super simple here. We're just going to download this. We are not going to remove the background. We will optimize quality, a relatively better design just going into this but I definitely do not want to remove the background so all we're gonna end up is this, this white box with the words beach vibes on it right so I'm gonna download that and if we go into downloads here I can just drag and drop this back on and you'll see it populate across the top here it's going to bring in this actual image here so I'm just gonna blow this up now we've got two of the same here the only difference now is that you cannot edit the words on this right so if you wanted to make any edits to your text you notice a typo you're gonna have to re-download it so that you'll have this image here so all I'm gonna do is move this over here now we can bring this back over here and we can bring this guy over top make him fill the space here fill our artboard so as soon as you click on this image now you can see how it's blocking over everything right just gonna set it in the center here you click on photo filter and we've got remove color here. So you can click right here. It's got a line through it, meaning there's no color selected. You can click on this eyedropper here and just come and click on your actual element here. And you'll see that it populated and chose the same color. And I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see this. Then you come over here and the intensity of the remove color. Watch what happens. As soon as I get past five or 6%, it's now pulled the red right out of it. I found if you go all the way, we'll zoom in a little, it gets a little, you know, not awesome, I guess, a little rougher. If we stick to around maybe 85% just to be safe here. Just seems to be a nice clean line here, but we can just zoom right out here. And this is kind of the extent of where Kittle's tutorial went. So if you want now, we can just move this around, but we don't want to do that. If you click inside here, you can move the background design. So you can have, you know, a nice cool sky picture with the beach here. This actually looks pretty cool on this angle as well. But for our intensive purposes today, I just wanted to show you, you know, the beach idea here. Close this in a little bit. Again, I'm holding command and I'm scrolling down with my mouse to zoom out just so I can see all four corners here to deal with. Maybe we can come this guy a little bit and see as soon as we start introducing these uh, shadows here, it doesn't look awesome, right? So I'm just gonna leave that like that. And then we're gonna click download here and do the same thing, but we're not going to remove background yet. So we've only got the two steps so far. We're downloading this again, nice and easy. It's gonna populate here, same idea, drag and drop back on top. You'll see what I'm saying. And you can see it populate here in my uploads it's on this tab here but it's right it's hard to see but it's right there so you can see again I've got another one here same idea this one is two pieces this one is one piece now so I'm just gonna control and zoom out I can move this out of the way here pull this over here I'm just gonna drag this on so if we had our background here currently it's white but let's say the background color was, you know, an off-white shirt or something like that. At least you can be able to see what I'm talking about here. One of the uh, cool comfort colors, kind of beachy colored shirts. 
you know, we've got this big white box now and you're probably thinking like, oh, well that sucks. It looks pretty hideous, right? But all we gotta do is zoom in here. And this is the next step that nobody's ever done before. And I just kind of figured it out by playing with it. I'm like, why wouldn't this work? All I did was bring it back in now because we don't want to only have design showing through there. AI background remover. I'll just zoom in so you can watch and boom, done. Bob is your uncle one more time. So now you've got this cool design here. It doesn't matter what color shirt it's on. It's standalone on its own, no background. And you'll be able to see the shirt color through. So if we were looking at the background here, for example, the shirt was maybe this blue. Even that actually looks cool. Beachy color, right? Get that out of the way. It looks great, right? So all you would do in this case is click off to hide the background and then you can download now with the remove background and you're only going to be downloading this beach vibes element here and to prove it i'll do that and you can see it right here there's nothing there no background right just drag and drop back on it'll throw it on here so you can see what i'm talking about populates here and it just showed up here so this is it that's the design you would have downloaded so you can apply this to any of your you know your printify uh, artboards or whatever pod you're using super simple to do it looks really cool and you know text-based designs really do sell and if you can kind of set yourself apart by showing the element of what the word itself is saying how sweet is that right way better than just you know a one color word on a shirt in terms of like adding some kind of really awesome depth right so that's it for this one let me know down below what other kind of elements or tricks you want to learn and I'll definitely do my best to kind of figure out how to hack these design platforms and see what we can do and my next video is going to review four of the best-selling t-shirts of all time which are the comfort colors 1717 the Gildan 5000 and the Gildan 64000 which is a soft style and the Bella and Canvas 3001. I've got all four of them here and I've got them all about a year into wear now. So we'll look at how the prints hold up and everything like that. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when that one drops. Thanks and we will see you in the next one.